I'm going to show you all how to cook the best Sierra Leone okra soup. Um, I have these flat beans. In back home, we used to cook these beans. As you can see, I'm washing the beans. I've washed my beans. I'm going to put much water and get it ready for boil. I have a bag of pepper. I'm not going to use everything. I'm just going to use a little bit. Yes, and there is my okra, and I'm washing it right now. I'm washing my pork cover and I'm going to cover my beans and get it ready for bomb. As you can see, I have two ball augury. They smell so good. I love the smell. It looks so good. I have one tiny fish, but trust me, once you bought that fish, it's gonna be so big. I have one tiny fish. The reason why I don't buy enough plenty fish is because if I have a turkey, a dry turkey that I'm going to be using. As you can see, all my assorted meat are in the pot with some seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you have. Okay. And I put my fish into a bowl because my fish was very hard. It was strong. Uh, as you can see, you see my beans is boiling right there and there is my palm oil <laughs> I, I was so tired to I'm so tired to turn the palm oil into that small bottle over there as you can see all my meat are all done they all boiled including my fish you see that little tiny fish is all swollen up it's all rising like I see if I put yeast or baking powder in it all my meat, my um, my cow stripes, uh, my turkeys. Well, we love turkey. My turkey, and yeah, look at me. I, I was cutting my okra. I didn't show you guys how I cut my okra. I know most of you know how to cut okra, but that's my cut okra over there. Yeah, I pluck the fish. I I cut them big in, into big size pieces. So. They're not gonna mash up. That's how I cut my meat. Yeah, all my sorted meat are in one bowl. I'm, I, I, I'm burning my oil, my palm oil, and I was looking for any palm kernel or banda. Sometimes those um, gallon of palm oil they have palm kernel in there. Yeah, um, I found a little bit of um, dried something in the palm oil. So. Yeah, you see all the smoke. That means it's telling me that my palm oil is, is warm enough to put the okra in. I, I'm, I'm not going to show you guys how to put the okra because I was the only one using my phone, holding my phone during the video and stuff like that. So, all my okra, my ingredients, my ogre, my maggi, my meat, my pepper, and um, onion, all of them are in there. You can use whatever seasoning you have, okay. It's not compulsory for you to use my own. It's not like if you use my own, your soup is going to taste as sweet as mine. Or your soup is going to taste good or mine is going to taste good. It does not matter. Any kind of seasoning will do. You cover your pot for at least 15 to 30 minutes. Then you open, everything is well cooked. <laughs> at some point, I forgot to reduce the fire and my soup was burning. See, I'm mixing one part where I have the okra, the maggi, and the pepper. I'm just mixing everything. Then I'm gonna mix my soup. See, that part was burning. I have to turn off the phone so I can mix it properly. Yeah, you see, did you see the way I'm mixing my soup? That's how you should mix your soup. You do not just use any kind of spoon and just be playing like as if you're playing with um, ginger beer. You know how you mix ginger beer? 
that's not how you mix soup okay you mix soup you turn the soup the thing over where where that was cooking you you go up under there and pick it up and turn it over that way all your ingredients all your stuff can cook properly okay you see how i'm mixing it that's how you should mix the soup you see it's so slippery trust me i did not put any baking powder baking soda or lube or anything i did not put anything it's just the natural fresh green okra that's all and the way i mix my soup that's why my soup the, the sliminess did not cut okay you have to make your soup so slimy and slippery the way you mix your soup depends on how slimy your soup is gonna be that's how you mix your soup you turn the soup not mix it like ginger beer see and again do not hit your spoon on the pot most african people do that you hit your spoon it's not nice you don't do it like that <clears throat> and then you cover your your pot okay and give it another minute you see all my palm oil everything is up it's showing this palm oil is good see just that palm oil that was burning that's the only one i i used i didn't add any other more palm oil make sure you don't add any more palm oil because at the end of the day your palm oil is going to be plenty in your soup you don't want too much palm oil mix your soup again make sure all your raw okra cooked okay see see the how i'm turning the soup i'm turning it like that keep turning it like that keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it you're gonna get it you're gonna get perfect okra soup uh -huh. this is the right time you can use your beans i was i wanted to use it but my household we don't like it so <coughs> i decided not to put it you know when you're cooking okra this is the right right time to put it you should put beans in there oh my goodness if you put that beans in your soup your soup is gonna taste so good and it's gonna look so nice oh my goodness but sorry i could not put my beans right now because my family and my family and i said i shouldn't put the beans so i decided to put it i listened to my partner my partner said mary don't put that beans in this if you put it i'm not gonna eat it and yeah i'm not gonna eat all of this okra soup because it's way too much for me see it's looking so good so healthy and i didn't add any water no water no drip of water at all this is just the okra palm oil that's it no water nothing is there no keep mixing and make sure you reduce your fire if not you're gonna have a burn soup see i reduced my fire my soup was burning i don't want my soup to burn you no know? and it's burning don't taste good it is gonna be bitter and you don't want your soup to be bitter At this point, you can leave your pot open. Um, if you want, you can cover it. But when, once you cover it, the, the, the steam, the water is, is gonna go at the at the pot cover, and then the water is gonna go in the soup. It's gonna make your your soup so watery. You don't cover it at this time. Just open it. Just open it. Give it the put the fire on. Oh no! Excuse me. I don't know what's going on right now. Put your fire on low, you see? It's cooking. Don't you like the color? The color looks so good. And don't make sure your okra don't cook all the way like all all the way cook 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 till it's mass. You have to mash up. It has to be like that. Half and half done. Half done, half cooked. Excuse me, I was not paying attention at this time. <laughs> I was distracted, so <laughs> okay, yeah, now I'm back. <laughs> yeah the okra is all done it's not mashed up it's, it doesn't look like potato leaf it looks like it named okra soup okay make sure you don't make your okra mass up do not blend anything okay please like subscribe and share my video